As data traffic volumes continue to grow and the demands on communications infrastructure evolves, so the need for more flexible programmable network technology also increases. So how is this trend impacting fixed broadband access networks? Well, I'm talking today with Steph Van Aal, General Manager Services at Nokia Fixed Networks, about this topic. So, Steph, uh, the broadband access sector has a long history of incremental and impactful evolutions. Uh, with the introduction of Software Defined Access, or SD Access, we're entering a new era for broadband access networking that's quite different from what we've seen previously. What is so different with this evolution? Yes, thanks, Ray. Um, yeah, software defined access basically means that we're disaggregating and taking the control and the smarts out of the box, if you will. Now, that creates an abstraction layer and allows us to do intent based networking. It basically means we separate the what from the how. So, what the network does is one thing, much easier to create from how the network actually does it in the, in the details of what's going on underneath. So, this creates a lot of flexibility in new services that we can, can launch and, and implement, but it also creates speed in the launch of the service. So you can do it faster and you can do it more flexibly. Um, very important to mention though, is that next to that flexibility, what this type of technology allows us to do is lower our OPEX very significantly. You know, we've been working with customers where we've seen uh, using our TCO tools that uh, OPEX of that new type of uh, access network goes down by 25 to 40%. There was one example of a customer, a national operator in Europe, where you know, the mundane routine tasks went down in cost by about 34%. So the OPEX saving combined with the flexibility is really the strength. Okay, interesting. Now, what are the key challenges when evolving to SD access? Yes, well, flexibility is great, you think. But with flexibility come design choices. So one of the strategic challenges is you need to make design choices up front. What am I going to do? What do I want to achieve? What are my strategic goals? Uh, you need to keep it simple. You need to reuse. Um, there are also technical uh, challenges, of course, right? So it's, it's very much the case that this is typically multi-vendor. So you need to make sure that you implement this software-defined access across multiple vendor technologies. You need to include the legacy. You don't want to leave the legacy behind. And it's very automation and analytics centric. So you need to kind of rethink how you want to leverage automation and analytics. So these are traditionally kind of normal systems integration challenges, but for the broadband access domain, these are really new. So customers we find really need to reskill themselves, retool themselves. They need new practices around DevOps and agile technologies that they in this space didn't traditionally have. So it's a systems integration challenge but relatively new to this space. And how can network operators ensure a successful implementation of SD access? Yeah, what we see is that the best way to success is to take a tactical approach. So not you know, a big bang approach, throw out the old and start from scratch with the new. That just doesn't work. So tactical means you either select a specific technology that you want to introduce and, and leverage software defined access on that or a geography or a combination of the two. Um, you need a, a very flexible access controller. Uh, Nokia has the Altiplano cloud native access controller. Uh, so the, the technology is important, but you also really need a very structured systems integration approach. You need to be repetitive. You need to be efficient in implementing this network. It starts from the design choices all the way down to execution. So what we have specifically done over the last two to three years um, is create automated test and deploy capabilities Again, software components come in and out, updates come in and out. It's, it's very complicated to manage that if you don't have automated test and deployment capabilities. And also reuse, we've created libraries and test cases, keep them at a central place to make sure we can, you know, we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time we do something new. Um, and then lastly, we've created global integration and migration centers, which really help us scale, but also reuse software, software components and intents that we've created for other customers on new customer situations. And can you give us some customer use cases, some examples of how SD access is deployed? Yeah, absolutely. And this is different from maybe two or three years when we were sitting uh, you know, here. So it was very much uh, the, the thing to talk about SD access, but it was new. Now, 
you know, we're in a space where we have 26 active customer projects, right? Six customers are live on this technology. Uh, and there are very different approaches that customers take. Uh, one example is a, a tier one North American provider who wanted to uh, really aggressively roll out with a very aggressive timeline, gigabit services. They chose G.Fast as a technology and they're using SD access uh, to basically roll out their G.Fast. The important is they can reuse their existing IT, which kind of really shortens their time to market on that. We have an example of a national operator with which kind of the complexity of the GPON environment got out of hand a little bit, and they really had a need to reduce their OPEX. They tried to bring an OPEX savings in that complexity. So what we did with them is create an abstraction layer and really focus on automation to take a lot of the OPEX out of the picture and, 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 and kind of manage that complexity uh, with a lower cost base. And then maybe lastly, very interestingly, greenfield deployments, which do still exist, specifically if you look at the wholesale market, which is you know, happening in a lot of places. So we're working with a greenfield wholesaler who really wanted to build a very flexible solution to serve the various retailers in that market and give them operational control that they are looking for. So a flexible model, a menu almost of sorts that they can also kind of change on the fly. And software-defined access really gives them the means to do that. And how can Nokia help operators with their SD access strategies? Yes, well, of course, we would like to think that we have a great portfolio of products in this space, right? The two cornerstone products are the nodes, the Lightspan nodes, and then the LT Plano uh, access controller. Um, but more than technology, and I'm the services guy, right? So more than technology, I believe systems integration experience in software-defined access is critically important. You know, in Nokia, we've done thousands of systems integration jobs in various technologies, but I spoke already about the 26 projects that we're working with customers today in SD access specifically. Um, you know, you need experience on multi-vendor and legacy, which we have. Uh, and very importantly, when you talk about integration, you need to know software integration as well as networking. You need to really marry those two to be successful in this space. I spoke already a little bit about industrialized systems integration, you know, creating a scalable capability and also libraries of use cases. And that's something I think we bring to the table that, that can really help our customers move forward in this space, which is complex if you don't have somebody you know, really who can take you by the hand from planning, strategy, all the way to execution and rollout. Well, these are very interesting and important developments, Steph. Thanks very much for joining us today and sharing your insights. Well, thanks for having me, Ryan.